Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we have an interesting little math word problem. And of course, it involves the concept or the amount of a billion. Okay, so you know, you hear these huge figures on TV, billions and trillions of dollars and whatnot. Uh, when you really kind of think about it, these are very huge numbers. But let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. And the problem says how many pennies are in one billion dollars but uh, this particular um, problem we want to write our answer in scientific notation okay so specifically you want to express your answer in scientific notation now if you don't know what scientific notation is i'll explain this in a second so if you think you could do this problem with uh but you just don't understand the scientific notation part we'll do it as well that's perfectly fine and feel free to use your calculator as well but uh, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section i'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second and then of course we're going to solve this problem also if you need math help with the course you're taking test prep or homeschooling make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com you can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so how many pennies are in a billion dollars when we think about this, right? There's billionaires out there. You know, the government owes, say, trillions of dollars or banks have trillions of dollars. These are crazy numbers and crazy concepts. But, uh, you know, you, you do need to kind of, we need, in terms of mathematics, there are ways to deal with uh dealing with very, very large values. That's where the scientific notation part uh, is going to come into play. But let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. So how many pennies are in a billion dollars? Well, this is the correct answer, okay? One times 10 to the 11th power pennies, okay? So this is the correct amount of uh, pennies in one billion dollars. So this right here is what we call scientific notation. And it is equivalent to 100 billion pennies okay so if someone was to give you or offer you a hundred billion pennies certainly i'm pretty sure you would take it but where would you put all those pennies i mean i don't even know how many dump trucks it would take to do that but nevertheless i'm pretty sure all of us would accept a hundred billion pennies that is quite a large number okay but we are still dealing with billions and if you think about it there are trillions and multiple trillions of dollars you know in terms of uh, finance is really kind of mind-boggling right so we're going to talk about this concept of scientific notation and how to calculate uh, this answer in a second. But if you got this right, even if you have this as your final answer and you didn't get the scientific notation part, I certainly still think you deserve a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars who so can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how many pennies there are in $1 billion. Who knows? Maybe they'll give you some pennies. They might break their piggy bank and say, here, here is 50 pennies. Go have a good time at the arcade or wherever else you might be able to spend that amount of money. Okay, so let's go and get into this problem. So the first thing is we need to understand what is $1 billion, right? Like, okay, well, what is a billion? It's kind of confusing because, you know, you're like, oh, here's 100. There is 1,000. Oh, here's 10,000. You might even remember what 100,000 looks like. But when you start getting up to a billion, you have to start really thinking about it. But a billion is a one, and then you have three, you have uh, uh, nine zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and you have a one right here, this is a billion dollars, okay, or one billion mathematically. So it is a very large number. And if you get confused on this, just start writing these numbers out. Oh, that's 100, that's 1,000, 10,000. This would be um, 100,000, just keep adding, right? So add another zero, you get a million, et cetera, et cetera. And you keep going until you're like, oh, well, I'm beyond million, I must be into the billion uh, category. So I'm not gonna get into how to, uh, characterize numbers, but hopefully you understand that this is a billion dollars, because if you don't, it's going to be difficult to do this problem. All right, so what's the next step? Well, the next step is we want to know how many pennies are in a billion dollars, and we are talking about dollars. So we need to know how many pennies are in a dollar, right? So we have to think about this in a second, or in a for a second, we have to say, okay, uh, how many pennies are in a dollar? This is stuff that you should already know, but hopefully... Um, you understand that uh, there are 100 pennies in $1. Okay, so if we want to go to pennies to dollars, I divide by 100. 
Okay. So in other words, if I have 200 pennies, I divide that by 100 uh, to go to dollars, right? So to, come, to go from pennies to dollars, I divide by 100. So in this case, I would have 200 pennies is equal to $2, right? But that's not the conversion factor that I want, okay? I want to know how many, uh, not, I'm, I'm not converting from pennies to dollars. I want to know how many dollars, how many pennies are in a billion dollars. So I want to be thinking about dollars to pennies, right? So I'm, I'm thinking about billion dollars. I want to express that in terms of pennies. So from dollars to pennies, how do we uh, go from dollars to pennies? Well, you multiply by 100, right? If I have $1, but take that, multiply by 100, you're going to have 100 cents, 100 pennies. All right, so you got to be clear about what $1 billion looks like, and you also have to be clear on the conversion factors for going from dollars to pennies and pennies to dollars. But this one is the one we need for this particular problem. Okay, so if I have $1, okay, and I want to know how many pennies, just multiply by 100. If I had $10, multiply by 100. If I have a billion dollars multiplied by 100, that conversion conversion factor is not going to change. So we're going to take our $1 billion multiplied by 100, and you're going to end up with this crazy amount right here, which is $100 billion. And this is the right answer. $100 billion what? Well, this would be pennies or cents, however you want to express that. But that is the right answer. However, the question was, let's express this in scientific notation. Now, you generally start studying scientific notation in algebra, maybe courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, and let's just look at this word here, scientific notation. So you talk about like science, right? And notation is the way to write things. Now in science, what do you deal with? You deal with extremely large uh, values and extremely small values, like the distance, you know, the earth is to a star, you know, measured in uh, light years and, you know, trillions of miles and all this kind of stuff. You're dealing with crazy large numbers or maybe like an uh, electron in an atom, you know, like its distance, you know, how many, I mean, how many uh, moles, you know, I don't know if you're familiar with that uh, terminology in chemistry, but you're dealing with crazy, crazy, uh, yeah, they're very small values or, or very, very large numbers. So in science, we, uh, we need a way to handle these uh, extreme values, okay? And that's why we have scientific notation, and that is a, a way to express numbers as uh, using um, the power of tens, okay? So if you never heard of this before, you should know about this, especially if you're taking any sort of algebra course. I teach this in uh, all of my um, algebra courses, starting with pre-algebra, algebra one, whatever the case is. Uh, so let's go and take a look at how to write this 100 billion into scientific notation. All right, so what we want to do is, let me kind of go back over here before I show you, is look at the digits that we have. So the digits, we have all these zeros and we have one. So we want to think of a number between one and 10, all right? So using the digits that we have, so one, uh, if we have a, uh, we can use this digit one and we have a number between one and 10. If I use one and zero, that's not between one and 10. It's gotta be less than 10, okay? So we're gonna use the one, that's our first concept. So in other words, let me just show you here. If I have one, seven, eight, nine, zero, uh, actually that's to make it a little bit simple. Uh, one, seven, uh, zero, zero. So let's say 1700. And I wanted to think of uh, the digits here between a number between one and 10, I would look at uh, this one and seven, okay? So what's the number between one and 10? Well, that would be 1.7, not 17, that's greater than 10, and not 0.17, I would need uh, 1.7. So in other words, just to be clear here, I know I'm going kind of quick to explain this because I can't give you a full, complete lesson on scientific notation, is we want to put that decimal point someplace using these digits so you have a number between 1 and 10. If I go right here, that's less than 1. If I go right there, that's bigger than 10. I got to put it right here, 1.7. That fits nicely between 1 and 10. So that's our first objective here. And in this case, a number between 1 and 10 is simply just going to be 1. Okay, so I'm going to put that there, and that's going to be 1.0. So my, basically, my decimal point is right here. Okay, so what am I getting at? Well, right here, this 100 billion, this is our decimal point. Okay, this is where the decimal point it's at. 
And what you have to do is you have to count at where you're at to where you need to go. And I'm kind of writing this in a real simplistic way, but we need to count how many decimal places or uh, that we need to move this decimal point. So you got to count this out super careful. So watch what I'm going to do. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have to move the decimal point eleven places to the left to get it right here. Okay, to get it at one or one point zero. All right. So uh, when you're dealing with uh, scientific scientific notation, you're going to take this number that you have between one and ten. In this case, it's one. And then you're going to put times 10. And if you had to move the decimal point from uh, uh, to the left, okay, to get to this new um, place, uh, that is going to be a positive exponent. So that's going to be 11 as our exponent. It's the number of places you moved that decimal point. Okay, so 1 times 10 to the 11th power is a number expressed in scientific notation. Matter of fact, it is this number expressed in scientific notation. But this is... Um, a much easier way to write or, you know, the easier notation to deal with very, very large numbers. So anyways, what's the whole point of this uh, problem? Well, it's to get you thinking about scientific notation and to get you thinking about, you know, uh, large, you know, um, quantities, right? And also, too, if you're interested in a billion dollars, hey, maybe if you understand all this math, you can go uh, invent the next uh, artificial intelligence technology out there, and maybe you'll make multiple billions of dollars. Who knows? Okay, I certainly think you're capable of doing it, and hopefully my little math videos will help you out along the way. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.